I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the importance of second derivative in finding point of inflection. So the question here is to sketch graph of f of x equals to 3 times x to the power of 1 over 3. So it's basically a cube root function whose graph we have to sketch. As you know the cube root function graph most of you will know how it looks like. In general this graph will be uh, kind of uh, like this. So it's like more or less like a square root function on this side but cube root the domain is all real numbers so it extends to this side also. Cube root of negative numbers is negative and that is how the graph of this function looks like. Right? Now here point of inflection is right in the center that is change of concavity you can see it's going concave up and this portion is called concave down, right? So when you sketch this kind of concave down, and that is concave up. With second derivative, you can actually find this point and the concavity, right? So that is what we are going to just verify with the help of this uh, example. So we are given the function f of x as equals to 3 x to the power of 1 over 3. Now first derivative for this function is 3 times 1 over 3 x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 so it is minus 2 over 3 right by now you are expert in doing all this so I'm just uh, going on with it so we have x to the power of minus 2 over 3 so when I write x to the power of minus 2 over 3 what I really mean is that it is 1 over x to the power of 2 over 3 okay so that is the first derivative now critical point at this stage you can always analyze so critical we can say number is x equals to 0 that means it is undefined at that point if you analyze this number let's do it here at x equals to 0 if you analyze if you take a test point on the left side for example what do you notice since it is x square and then cube root it is always positive right whether you take it on the left side or on the right side so if I take value of minus 1 or if I take value of plus 1 so minus 1 to the power of 2 or 3 will be plus 1 so what you notice here is that the graph of the function is increasing right it is increasing now which can be verified here also this function is always increasing so there is no maximum or minimum for this particular graph <coughs> at x equals to 0. Now let's verify with second derivative. Now second derivative will be, we'll use this equation, minus 2 over 3 times x to the power of minus 2 over 3 minus 1, which gives us minus 5 over 3. Or you could write this as minus 2 over 3 times x to the power of 5 over 3. Now here at x equals to 0 we do get the second derivative as undefined. So let's analyze this second derivative. At x equals to 0 <coughs> so if I take a point which is let us say negative 1 let's take negative 1 and uh, positive 1 easy to calculate right negative 1 and positive 1 so if I do negative 1 in this particular case what do I get negative 1 will give me negative result right now <clears throat> this is negative and this portion is positive sorry since this is also negative this will be positive I'm sorry this would be negative. This is minus 2 divided by this. So when I write negative 1, what we get here is that we have we have negative in the numerator divided by negative in the denominator, which leads to positive. In this particular case, we have negative in the numerator, positive in the denominator, that gives me negative, correct? Now, since we have positive, the shape of the curve, concavity, will be concave up. Since this is negative, it will be concave down. So we do have a point of inflection right at x equals to 0, correct? 
so we do have a point of inflection as x equals to 0 so this is point of inflection which you could see at this point and the concavity you can always check this concave up as you can see here at 0 and it's concave down on the other side correct to get better points here what you could do is you could always substitute 1 and when you do that you get plus 3 and if you substitute minus 1 you get minus 3 and get a few more points to sketch this particular graph also remember that we could check if this graph has some kind of is it even or odd right so so if you could do in addition to what I've done my focus was mainly on second derivative but if you really have to sketch this graph then what you should be doing is uh, you should consider these points also let me write down those points uh, first is that x belongs to real numbers there are no restrictions on this function and then we know f of minus x is equals to minus of f of x that means it is odd function is it okay it's odd function and end behavior as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity as x approaches negative infinity y approaches negative infinity and few points as i was saying you could find the uh, points at plus minus one which we did which will help you to give a better graph in addition to what we have learned here these points will help you to sketch a better graph for the given function right so i hope with this video you understand the importance of second derivative how we can find concavity and we can also make sure whether we have a maximum or a minimum or not here you will analyze at x equals to 0 the second derivative is neither negative nor positive right so so here at 0 at 0 this second derivative does not exist right so it's neither negative nor positive let me write down here I want to use another ink here so it's neither negative nor positive right and therefore it is not maximum or minimum that's that's what it is so that means you cannot make sure whether, whether this is a cell this is so this is a perfect test for you to find out whether the critical number at the first derivative is a maximum or a minimum or neither correct so that's that's a good example in this regard also i hope you appreciate all these points let's move forward and uh, uh, take some functions where more details will be explained in sketching the graph feel free to share your comments subscribe to my videos and if you like that would be great thank you and all the best